Hey everybody, it's me, Steven from Two Dorks. I solved a problem for myself this morning, and I thought it would be pretty great if I would share it with the world. And that problem is, when I'm recording a guest on our podcasts through Discord or through Skype, it all goes to one channel. Me, the music we play off my PC, their voice, all in one channel on Reaper, which makes it kind of difficult to make it sound great. Uh, if someone's speaking lighter or someone's speaking louder, I can't separate any of this. Uh, so I figured out a way to multi-track everything, thanks to help from a video that I'm going to leave in the description. The uh, video was super helpful. It was missing one button that I, I'm going to introduce here that really helped me out in, in uh, getting this thing to work. So uh, to start with, you need Voice Meter Banana, which has all these really great features. Uh, it's a pretty awesome software mixer. That, uh, that allows you to make a lot of changes to the audio in your computer and route it different places. Super great, super free, so go get it. Um, and you'll need Reaper. Reaper is an awesome digital audio workstation. Uh, it's kind of a step up from Audacity. Audacity's great, love it, wonderful piece of software. Uh, but if it crashes in the middle, you lose everything. Reaper, that doesn't happen. Reaper records as it goes and uh, you don't lose stuff. Uh, it's really, really nice. Uh, so anyway, getting down to the point here. I've got a handful of channels here. I've got a microphone. I've got my PC audio. And over here in this call channel is the aux. This is where people's voice comes through Discord. And I have it in an aux so that I can subtract their own audio from the stuff that goes back to them because I don't want them to hear their voice. That's a whole nother video and a very complicated topic. Um, look up Mix Minus if you want to know. Uh, but anyway, here's the thing. Here's how it works. We're going to set up the multi-tracking. In order to do that, you find your channel down here in this master section that has all your tracks that you want to split out. The thing that goes out to your stream or to your recordings or whatever it is that you're doing. And you're going to set that to composite. It's real easy to do that and not really that intuitive. It's click this button. Composite will split out everything into multiple tracks that you can actually work with it. Uh, so what we're going to do is take that. Uh, we're going to look at our system settings and options. This is this is kind of important. This is where we're gonna decide which channel contains which track or which input. That's all down here in this patch composite. This button's important to know about. It's not a button, it's just some text. It's not very intuitive. Uh, Pre-fader or post-fader. Simple explanation. Pre-fader means just the raw audio from whatever input that is. Post-fader means all this other stuff that we're setting, like compressors and gates that all is included. So you kind of want to use post fader just so that you get any effects or modifications you've done to EQ, that kind of stuff taken care of. And then you're going to look down here at these channels. This ASIO uh, driver that we're going to set it to in Reaper in just a second provides you with eight channels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can count. Look at that. Uh, and these are going to be mapped to the AS ASIO channel that you're going to feed your track later. So you have to remember this. So the easy thing to the the easy way to work with it is you just click the what you want. You say in number one left, in number two left, and those correspond with these these uh, inputs over here. Uh, if it's mono, then I just tend to use left whenever we're speaking in mono. It's or whenever we're speaking to the microphone, it's usually mono. And then when it's mixed down, it's converted. It's it's still mono. Comes out of both your speakers the same. Maybe your situation's different. Uh, but all you're going to make sure is that like, this is channel three cause it's in the third slot. So I know that channel three is my microphone's left channel two is this PC out, or channel four is this PC out, uh, bay and channel three, this, and so on and so forth. Um, and that also includes these over here. So this call is, is bay five. So that's why you see a left and right here. These were default. I didn't really have to change them. Uh, I just have to remember that seven and eight are this, this, uh, row right here. So once you have that figured out, uh, hopefully this is making sense so far, you can go over to Reaper, go to Preferences. You can go to Audio Device. And you're going to set your audio system to ASIO, and then you're going to set your audio driver, or your ASO, ASIO driver to virtual, voice meters virtual ASIO. Then you're going to set your first and last channels to 1 through 8. That will make sure your range of inputs you're allowed to choose from is 1 through 8. Uh, and then you're going to say OK. A uh, quick note that's kind of helpful is this channel naming mapping feature under the audio tab. Uh, if you go, click that, this button, input channel name, aliasing, and remapping, you can edit those names. So instead of VM, VAIO, 1, 2, whatever, you can name them something that means something to you. Local mic, PC output, aux PC. So now I know 
which one maps to which device. Really neat, kind of an offshoot of a, of, a, of a thing, but it's a good idea. So now we're going to insert a new track. We're going to arm it. So we're going to go over here to VMVA01. Click it. You click Input Mono, and you can pick the output that you want to listen to or input. Local mic is this one, and you can see as I'm talking, it's bouncing up and down. Uh, we're going to create a new track, and let's say I want to have my guest uh, from Discord or on Skype on a different one. They're going to be Ox, and that channel corresponds to this call over here because I remember looking at it over my system settings right here, 7, 8, right? So that's 7. It's going to be the left channel of that fifth input. Go over here to another new track, arm it, and I can set it to my PC output. You don't see anything bouncing there because there's no audio coming out of my PC. I'm gonna play some, you're not gonna hear it in the video, uh, but you'll see it here. Uh, so now I'm playing some music off a of YouTube video and it's actually be recorded here in my separate track. And the cool thing about this and what makes a huge difference is now I can add leveling stuff to each different track. I can set compressors differently, equalizers differently. Um, if I have a guest on the show whose mic is really low or really high, I can compensate for that in post-production. So when I go to edit, I can fix it. Uh, this is pretty huge for me. It's made a big difference. Um, I'm excited about getting to use it and making it a thing. been working on it for a long time. And huge shout out to the people who make videos about this that are way better than me. Because I appreciate you and I learned a lot. Uh, and anyway, here it is. Enjoy. Go out there and make stuff, man.